I, I, I was uh, counsel in one of the cases that uh, Dr. Omar lost. <laughs> I, I, I did that case against him. And after that, he sent me a text. He said, why are people surprised that the nation is not doing well? When, when a man like you can be appointed attorney general, look at how dishonest your arguments are. <laughs> Well, but we are still friends. Yesterday, he was in my house. I love him so much. His courage, his perseverance. Dr. Omar, keep it up. Justice is according to law, please. Justice is not at random. Justice is according to law. I, I give you a typical example. In election matters, the grounds must be consistent. If the grounds are inconsistent with one another or inconsistent with the reliefs, uh, such a petition will fail. It will. I, I did a petition recently where the grounds were inconsistent with one another and inconsistent with the reliefs. And the Court of Appeal said, well, such a petition is speculative and ought not to be heard. That's, what, that's, that's the law. It, it's not the fault of the judges. And it makes sense. The reason why the courts are congested is because people have filed a number of speculative and frivolous actions in the hope that they can manipulate the judges. Sometimes they tire the judges and succeed. More often than not, they fail. So, Dr. Omar, it is not because the judges are corrupt or because uh, they are incompetent. No, it's the law. The law is said to be dynamic because in the light of experience, we go on changing them. I, I, I wish to say that, speaking for the judiciary, we have a good judiciary. Our judges are competent. It doesn't mean that every one of them is good. There may be one or two here and there who are failing. There's no system that is perfect. But of the three arms of government, the best arm is the judiciary. The judiciary is better than the legislature. It is better than the executive. It is. And had it not been for the judiciary, please, had it not been for the judiciary, this country will long since have disintegrated. Please, it's true. I, I've been a lawyer for 51 years. I work in the courts. I'm not an arbitrator. I don't work for banks. I don't sell land. I work in the courts. And when I tell you that the courts have saved this nation, please believe it. May God bless you. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.